Oh my god, this is steep. Hello and welcome to this very special episode of Gravel Diaries. As you might be able to tell, I'm not in the UK right now. I'm actually in the Canary Islands and I'm here to ride the Kamut Women's Rally. So if you haven't heard of it before, Kamut have been holding women's rallies since 2001. They're the brainchild of Leah Wilcox, who's the ultra racer, who I'm sure you heard of. She just wanted to bring lots of women together from different communities um, and to try and get more women involved in ultra cycling. So her and Kamut have been sort of masterminding these amazing events for the last couple of years. I'll be catching up with Leah and also Gabby from Kamut later in the week, so you'll hear a bit more from them about the whole event. Uh, but first, let me tell you about the route that we're gonna be riding this week. So the route is 700 kilometers long with 50,000 feet of climbing and it hops over five islands. It follows the route of the ultra event called Guan Guanch, which I pronounced 100% wrong, but I can't pronounce it right, uh, sorry for that. However, unlike the ultra route, I will have seven days to ride the entire distance, whereas they do it as fast as possible. I'm gonna be riding the event with 50 other women from around the world. Um, some of them will be pros and some of them like me will have never cycled this far or done this many uphill miles. So before we get started, you're probably wondering what bike am I going to bring? And you're in for a treat, it is the Genesis Fugio 30. Now the bike does weigh 11 kg without any stuff on and with stuff on, the whole setup together, I think with filled water bottles, weighs about 21, 22 kg. So it's pretty heavy, maybe heavier than it needs to be. But the only thing I can say to that is the more weight you carry, the more gains you get. And I want legs that look like Chris Hoy's legs by the end of the week. So I'm gonna take you back to Lanzarote where this all started. I was pretty nervous just before it started. Um, but yeah, I was also super excited. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, it is 7 a.m. The sun has just risen and today is the first morning and we're gonna be riding across the entirety of Lanzarote today. <laughs> Start line! How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. First hill done! Woop woop! <laughs> Climb number two. Yeah. We're at the top of today's biggest climb and look at this view. We're about halfway through the day at Lanzarote. We're just on this cool single track. It is absolutely boiling today because someone's tire just popped off their rim because there was too much pressure and it expanded, which is mental. Maria! <laughs> From Iceland! Yeah. <laughs> the one and only. Hi. This is like very much your sort of landscape, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We are in Lanzarote. Lovely landscape. <laughs> Love it. This is incredible. This is absolutely crazy landscape. It's just totally black sand and then all of these holes where they've they've dug to get the to keep the vines in we are it's 4 p.m we got about 15 miles to go done most of the climbing but yeah epic day so we've made it to the sea um we're at the ferry terminal for lanzarote and we're going to get on the ferry tonight and go to fuerteventura which is island number two um, today has been amazing, some absolutely incredible gravel, some like amazing descents and some pretty amazing climbs and just lovely people, lots of nice chats. Um, so yeah, we're gonna catch the ferry next. Before we head to Fuerteventura, let's hear from the two women who are the brains behind the Kamut Women's Rallies. So this is the Kamut um, Women's Rally and it's our fourth one that we've done now. So. The Kamut's Women Rally is all about getting more women out experiencing long distance bikepacking routes. The event's a collaboration between us and Leo Wilcox um, and Kamut like really enable the event to happen and then we work with Leo to help bring her like idea and vision. So I actually have done group starts like a rally of, of sorts on the Baja Divide in 2017 mm -hmm. and we did a group start 
um, with a hundred riders, but mixed men and women. Okay. And I thought that was so much fun. But what would it be like if it was just women? Okay. Because so often I'm the only woman on the ride, or I'm the only woman at the start line. And I thought uh, that's fine. I'm fine with that. But there's definitely a different feeling if you get women together. So we started the rallies on the Torino Nice rally, which is obviously like super iconic, and it had a really big impact. So. Um, before the women's rally, there were on average like 5% female participants. And then after the women's rally, that went up to 35%. Oh, so we could really yeah, see the impact. Um, and then we thought we wanted to move that to different bikepacking events in different locations and also just really showcase what's out there. So in the first rally, actually, in the beginning, everybody felt like we have to go so hard to make it. And then we realized, oh, we actually have so much more time. Yeah. yeah. So we started slowing down progressively no, to spend more time so together and ride together. And uh, but what I learned from that experience was that um, so almost all of the women that actually showed up mm -hmm. were extremely experienced, but they still said they were so intimidated that they almost didn't real realize this was like a big thing. So then. Before the next rally, which was in Spain, we had like a women's panel, and I think 200 women tuned in to, and we had three speakers, mm -hmm. and one was doing research, Wendy was doing brilliant research about why people don't show up to events or why they're not inclusive. And then it was like this amazing like response of like, yeah, we can do this. And then since then, it's been uh, at least 250 women have signed up for each rally. No. And then we only have 50 to keep it kind of so you actually know everybody that you ride with. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's been like a, a, a wild increase yeah. to see just in this is the third year. There's so many women here that I've never met before. And um, I love that we like all start, we've never met. And then by the end, you've just got like this big group of new mates that you can go adventuring with. And yeah, looking forward to hearing everyone's stories. It is day number two and we're just going to find, go and find some breakfast and then we're going to see how far we can get today. We were planning to ride 100 miles and get the whole way across the island but we've all woken up feeling like pretty tired uh, and a bit sunburnt so yeah we'll just see what happens. What's the plan today Beth? Ride until my legs don't work any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Day two, and I like it. I'm so excited for the next day. Smoothie. Well, Annie has been looking after me and uh, buying me lots of coffee and espressos. <laughs> we thought it was going to be a nice easy start today. 30 miles on the flat, nice tailwind, um, but it's been so bumpy. There's just all these brake bumps. So we've now just lost two bottle cages. Things are rattling off all over the place, falling everywhere. Um, so <laughs> not as easy as we thought. Yesterday, my shoes came apart. <laughs> so I had to just take them. Oh, I'm gonna hope they hold together for the rest of the trip. How's your rally been going so far? It's been good. It's been beautiful. We were cranking wads today, but not going very far. <laughs> 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 but enjoying the scenery and the company. Riding on an insane mountain road. Second mountain pass of the day. Love a good mountain pass. Cheered right up now. We've got to, we're doing lots of climbing. Um, yeah, should be a good view at the top of this one. stopped to have some food. We're a bit behind schedule because it was really, there was a massive headwind this morning. So I think we're gonna uh, not do the whole island, but we're gonna wild camp. So hopefully somewhere in the mountains. Last night with 15 people, um, 
and the stars were absolutely incredible. We were right up in the middle of Puerto Ventura and now we've just woken up and the sun is rising and this landscape is nuts. Look at it. Yeah, very happy. So now we're pedaling on to the next town to go find some coffee. Made it over Puerto Ventura. <laughs> Woo! Bye Puerto Ventura. Hello, Grand Canaria. <laughs> Today we're going to be climbing one of the biggest hills the whole trip. I think we've got about like 9,000 feet of climbing today. Uh, so getting ready to be in the granny gear all day. I had an accident, which you might be able to see. Pretty sad. I uh, just thought while I was spinning up the hill, I might talk a bit about like, how the rally's going so far. And in terms of the riding, so there's like, generally there's like a couple of people who you ride at the same speed as, and then you kind of don't really see anyone else all day. But then when you get to the end, usually everyone's there. So you can like have dinner with everyone and catch up, which has been really nice because everyone's having such a different experience, but we all get to share it with each other, which is really good. Yeah, so far I've been so much fun. I just got the message on Garmin that 5,932 feet to go, 17 miles. That is a big hill. I'm gonna do a hill montage now, so get ready for that. Still climbing. Still climbing. Still climbing. 11 miles to go, 4,400 feet of climbing. The only way is up. Whoop, whoop. We've been pushing for a good 15 minutes. 2,500 feet left to go, still walking. This is one of the absolutely most beautiful places I've ever been. We've got 1,000, 500 feet left. 4 p.m. Still climbing. Still climbing. <laughs> so now we're just gonna ride down the mountain. Um, there's some pretty gnarly gravel here. It looks really awesome. <laughs> it's pouring. So wet. Oh. So we've reached Agate, which is where you get the ferry to Tenerife. So we are done with Gran Canaria now. Um, I don't know if you can tell how soaking wet I am. I am soaked to the skin. It's been raining just constantly for hours. And Gran Canaria was really cool. Some absolutely amazing scenery. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Tenerife. It's the final island. Yes. Who's excited Ooh, to cycle I'm on the road? <laughs> oh. I'm going to have a good breakfast. So we're on Tenerife. We got some really sad news that um, it's too dangerous to go to the top of the mountain. Um, there's apparently snow and it's like minus five there. So they, the commute organizers have put an alternate route. We're going to cycle on the road now to Los Cristianos, which was our finishing point, um, which is about six miles, 7,000 feet of climbing. Uh, which is really sad. I was really looking forward to going up there. Um, obviously it's better to be safe. <laughs> what the succulent? <laughs> Los Cristianos! Made it to Los Cristianos! Yay! <laughs> We officially finished the route yesterday in Los Cristianos. Uh, we finished a day early because we weren't allowed to go over the mountain because of the, the snow and the minus temperatures. We had an absolutely lovely party at the end, really nice end 
everyone was so happy and it was like a real sense of accomplishment of everything that we'd done. However, I felt really sad that we hadn't gone over El Tiende, which is the big mountain here. Uh, I really wanted to. So today, when we woke up, we realized the storm had uh, gone, it's much warmer. So me and Anya just decided like, you know what, we're gonna just climb up there and then come back down again. While everyone else is having a rest day, we're doing this big climb, 25 miles of up. I think one of the nicest things about this trip is meeting other people who are full of crazy ideas as you. And it's nice to have Anya to do this with. Oh my God, this is steep. Ooh. We've been climbing for hours. 1,800 meters. The cloud is lifting. I can't believe <laughs> they just came out just for us. We just got here and it was like, woo, here's the view. It's beautiful. Woo All right, that is it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed cycling in this event. Just on a personal note, I had a wonderful time. Just so lovely to ride with 50 other women. They were all super inspiring and really interesting. So that's just been uh, probably the best bit about the whole experience. Now, I just want to say a massive thank you to Kamut and Leah Wilcox for putting this event on. It's uh, obviously a loads of work and it's an amazing thing that they've created here. If you want to take part in more Kamut rallies, there are going to be two more this year. One is going to be in Slovenia in the summer and I think a bit later on there's going to be one in Arizona that leaves from Leah Wilcox's house so if you want to take part keep an eye out on the Kamut website I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a like and drop a comment underneath and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more awesome gravelly content <laughs>